Beauty and the Blonde, an exploration of uh, American art and popular culture, looks at the rise and growing popularity of the blonde in American culture in the 1950s and uh, 1960s. The exhibition is structured into three sections. The first one, Iconic Blonde, shows work by artists from the 1960s, mainly works by pop artists including Andy Warhol, Liechtenstein, Mel Ramos uh, and many others, for whom the commercialized image of the blonde became hugely productive in their artwork as they were rebelling and reacting against artistic and aesthetic standards during this time period. The second section, Deconstructing the Blonde, uh, begins with a lot of artwork in the 1970s and the two key positions that you will find in the section are artists informed by a feminist perspective on the one hand and secondly the way in which photo conceptual approaches in art informed uh, many of their techniques which means also work by John Baldessari or William Wegman who had a fascination with analyzing the photographic medium and the way in which perspective for instance light other conditions help in the construction of a subject on screen and the third section transforming the blonde is dedicated to work by artists of color um, and we have a range of dates here, examples from um, the early 70s until very uh, recent work. And in this section, obviously, it's not only questions of beauty uh, or these kinds of stereotypes of femininity that are uh, being addressed by the artists, but um, these are artists who are also looking at questions of race, of transformation and disguise. Those are important themes that are played out in the section. 